The chest tube is a soft, flexible tube that drains any excess fluid from the chest cavity after surgery and helps expand your lung after surgery. It actually varies how long the chest tube is going to be there. If it's a VATS procedure with a wedge resection, they will do a chest x-ray in the morning and with the wedge resection that chest tube may come out that morning and you may go home that very next day around dinner time. If the doctor is removing an entire lobe of your lung, that chest tube should be there for three to five days, maybe even longer. It just depends on what the chest tube is doing. Every morning they'll do the chest x-ray and determine between the chest tube and the x-ray when that chest tube can come out. Your chest tube will come out depending on how much air and or fluid is draining. The amount of time your chest tube will remain in tends to be shorter when less of your lung is removed, as in a wedge resection, or when the whole lung is removed, as in a pneumonectomy, or when your breathing tests are good. Your chest tube may remain in longer if you have COPD, or if more of your lung is removed, as in a lobectomy. Please note that in patients with emphysema or reduced lung function, air can leak out of the lungs and miss the chest tube. This is not dangerous or painful, but it can be startling and make the patient sound nasally. If severe enough, the doctor may have to perform minor procedures to let the air drain out so patients can open their eyes better. If unfortunately you have to go home with a chest tube, um, the nurses on the floor will teach you about the chest tube and the drainage that you may be having and how to care for it. You may have a home care nurse come in at that point to help you take care of that chest tube. Once your chest tube is removed, there'll be a dressing there and within 48 hours, that dressing can come off and you can shower. Uh, there may be a stitch there, there may not be a stitch there. Um, you're just looking for anything abnormal. If you start running a fever, any shortness of breath, um, any increased pain, you should be reporting that to us. You may experience fluid drainage from your chest tube site after leaving the hospital. If the drainage is not pus, it is not dangerous. Simply replace the bandage and call the thoracic center to let us know. Please call us if you experience any of the following symptoms as they may require more immediate attention. Redness at the tube site, swelling, the site becomes warm, signs of infection, fever, pus or other drainage.